fish sticks girl oh huh, puppy you like the fish sticks <laughs> Nothing. How do you go faster, Lado? Are we going with the same deal? What number you got it on? Well, this the number don't what? matter. It's just for comfort. comfort. Like the taller you are, the the higher the number. Oh, help me! I'm just a. The number don't matter. Like you. You. A good keeper, red. Well, that's why I'm here. Just been getting these, these yeah. trouts. So I've been catching those all fucking day. They're not fucking big though. God damn! It's a nice red. How big is it? Twenty-five. Golly! The spots on the motherfucker. Big old spots. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big old like a swivel. I've never seen something like that. What, this motherfucker? Yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. What's going on folks this is me Lada here at Lada's Fishing Chronicles and I uh, wanted to give you a one-year review of my Van Hunks Mahi Mahi and here she is and uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about her I uh, never even heard the name Van Hunks until I walked into my local kayak shop here in Corpus Christi Texas Roy's Roy's bait and tackle here in Corpus Christi Texas and I saw it there on the showroom floor and I was like huh I never heard of this brand so uh, but let's go talk about Hobie for a little bit of course Hobie's maybe the pinnacle of kayak fishing they've been around for decades the invented the Mirage Drive, the fin drive system, and their patent ran out, and everybody copied it, and that's what I always wanted, but I couldn't afford it, <laughs> or see myself spending, or convincing the wife spending that much money on it, and then I saw this, I saw it was so old. this is exactly what I wanted right here, with a fin drive. You know, let me tell you, this fin drive is the exact copy of the Hobie GT2, I believe, drive. And I've already, uh, this is held up pretty good. I just have had a cable stretch on me, the idler. And hell, I went to my local Hobie kayak shop, Fin Factory, here in Corpus Christi. And I found an idler cable and purchased it right there there on the shelf pulled it off the shelf and went home with it and installed it and uh, there we go so I got a and I bought this brand I was a little worried let me tell you I was a little worried because I thought to myself well I've never heard of this brand where am I gonna get parts for it if I ever got to fix it and they have great found out they have great customer service and they've had to redo this for me 
this box and they first came out with this design right here was not good it was a bunch of plastic clips and yeah this thing would pop out but they fixed that problem now let's update and show you what they sent me they sent me a another box and this is my original box and if you watch my videos my previous videos when i first got this these were made out of plastic and they sent me these metal ones upgrades but the problem i'm having now is this one is fine this side and it, it's all the way notice see how I, it's all the way back now this one's started to these are made out of like plastic right here these deals so it kind of made a groove with the drive so but if i hold it right here it it works perfect the drive don't pop out but if it ends up all the way this way it works into that groove and my drive pops out but they made an improvement and i'm gonna show you i'm gonna we're gonna do my first unboxing here all right here we go my first unboxing here. Oh man. Here we are, peeps. Here we are. Oh, fat girl chasing cars look at the difference here look at those cam locks versus this one here all metal now see it's gonna be nice all right let me show y'all peeps with the new box when i got the new box it had a little play in it in the box itself and this drive here is been real strong look i've been the little bit of mud on the tips i bent the rods but i bent them right back and it has they're very good they're, i think they're just never owned a hobie but i don't see how they're cheap and what anyway with that drive but let me show you the box what I had to do when I got this box modification probably been using this box oh we got water in here it's all right I'm gonna show you folks I put this pipe insulation on here oh look there's snails in there what the hell <laughs> put this pipe insulation because there was a little play in the box when in the slot here and i went to roy's recently and i was looking at a brand new one at the at the pro angler did i say that right and they had the same it had a play in it but what this does this insulation tape uh tines up the hole right here and when you put your feet on the drum it wiggle around like that and it is, you can see right here it dampens it you don't have that plastic on plastic rubbing feels a lot better and it's a simple i'm surprised the glue tape on here has lasted this long and you can find this you can find this insulation tape at lowe's or home depot it's real real simple to apply see that just went all the way around just like that and uh, and actually got some too down here from the factory so that's the same concept right there stick that there Oop. got kind of a little bit of flotation i think that's why it's i'm not worried about water in the box itself to hold it down there 
<laughs> All right, and I kind of drift a little back. <laughs> Let's get that drive. Be weird, right? Come out here, just see a drive there on the <laughs> a fin drive there on the grass line edge. And we'll pop that in. There we go. Uh oh, I'm on the ground. There we go. There we go. And I put my hook back on. Lanyard holds it for shallow water. And that's it, peeps. Let's get some deck matting on here stock comes with it and i was like when they deck matting came out I was on they started putting on kayaks i was like man that is a waste and uh, don't knock it to your rocket <laughs> and i love it the only thing is i wish they would have kept this all flush right here or man my whole foot would be right here and it'd be nice it's okay but that'd be perfect right there then I got the storage here. I still plan to get a flip one lot because it's kind of a little deal to get it screwed there. And the seat. The seat, let's see, one year, folks. Check it out. One year on the seat. I keep it the seat inside. But uh, this is about, you see right there that's all that's torn on it for a year and if I look on their website they're only $80 to me $80 ain't that much for a kayak seat especially compared to the Hobie Vantage we're looking about $200 to $300 and this little deal here would slip on me but I cured that with this cable right here so one slip back and yeah, I had no problems with the with the chair and the paddle. Yep, yeah, paddle hasn't broken on me. And and when I first when I had my pups in mind too, I thought they would ride. <laughs> I thought they would like it up here in this hatch. But it turns out, and it's a lot wider back here. You see all the dog hair. <laughs> they like to ride right there. So. This boat has held up well, very well. The hull is rock solid and uh, great customer service. They'll get back at you. And uh, if you need spare parts, they'll send you spare parts. No question asked and they're improving. And now they got some, uh, the, uh, the Elite Pro, which that's next on my and i'd like to keep this and maybe uh, i don't know maybe do some guiding give it a try you know i would like to try that <laughs> i still continue working but see how that goes and uh the rudder i was a little worried about this rudder the rudder cable only busted on me once and that was an easy fix i wouldn't say busted it just came untied I don't know how but this rudder has taken a beating every time i load it this is how i load it by myself and look at that and it's held up and it's held up for over a year now look at that drag that drag mark so let me load up Let's talk about the rudder right here it's a fixed rudder it doesn't it just stays fixed you can deploy it further down and if you were able to deploy it down like a hobie you'd get more sharper turns on a dime but he oh ho, ho. look at that the weight right there he's coming <laughs> Oh, 
once again it would go about three years ago I would have missed that <laughs> And this might be another bruiser. Oh. Look at that big old head. Oh man. Now let's let's talk about standing folks. Now the one reason why I chose this kayak is because I wanted to stand. I like to sight cast. That's what tickles my pickle. I like to be on the hunt. And I be, by being able to stand, I can see a whole lot better at a higher level. And when I first got this standing up, was like, oh shoot! And they're like, man, how the, how do they do it? But eventually, you get used to it, and you get more comfortable with it. And yeah, I'm rocking back and forth here. See when that deck mat, <laughs> that deck mat. See, I wish it came all the way this way, but it's still comfortable. And I love that deck matting. And for a whole year, it hasn't even came up. Like it hasn't even like start to come undone from the kayaks itself. So they must've used some really good glue. So uh, that's why I got this kayak to stand on it.